Olive is an ostrich. She lives with her family in the outback. But Olive is very different. Olive's dad loves to run. Olive isn't a fast runner. Olive's mum enjoys laying huge eggs. Hmm. Olive doesn't like the look of that at all. Olive's little brother pecks at the ground to find tasty roots to eat. Pecking at the ground makes Olive sneeze. But Olive has an incredible imagination. So while the rest of her family are running, pecking and laying eggs, Olive can be found imagining herself going on amazing adventures when she buries her head down, down, into the sand. until she popped up somewhere new. It was a big room with red carpet, lots of pictures on the walls and a funny-shaped object with three metal legs on display. Oh, hey, this all looks very posh, said Olive. She was in the foyer of a cinema. Olive went up close to look at the funny-shaped object on its metal legs. This is a film camera, said a man as he walked into the foyer. He was wearing a gleaming white suit with black buttons. Oh, hello, I'm Olive. You look very smart. Nice to meet you, Olive. My name is Steve Badenberg. I am the cinema manager. And tonight is the big film premiere of our new blockbuster movie, A Winter Wonderland. Oh, great. I love a good blockbuster. So do I. But I lost the last scene of the movie, and I still need to make all the popcorn. Everyone will be arriving soon. What am I gonna do? Well, why don't I help you? Great idea, Olive. Hey, maybe you could make the popcorn for me. So Mr. Battenberg showed Olive how to make the popcorn. You had to put corn into the machine and turn it on. Well, I should be OK with that. I'll just put the popcorn in here. But she put the entire bag of corn into the popcorn machine in one go. You can never make too much popcorn. Well, I think we're all sorted. But what shall we do about the last scene of the movie? Without it, the audience won't know how the film ends. What happens in it, Mr Battenberg? It's a beautiful winter's day. The snow is fallen from the sky, and the snowman winks to the camera and smiles. Olive looked around the foyer and spied the film camera. Hmm, a film camera? Your white suit with black buttons? I think I may have an idea. Mr Battenberg, does the film camera work? Yes, I believe it does. To record, you just press the button with the red circle on it. And action! So Olive and Mr Battenberg began filming. But something wasn't quite right. Oh, dear. We still don't have any snow. Suddenly, the popcorn machine started rumbling. Pop, pop, pop! All the popcorn came flying out of the machine into the air. Oh, no! said Mr Battenberg. I think you put too much corn in, Olive. Don't worry. It's just what we need. On camera, it looks exactly like snow. So Mr Battenberg winked and smiled to the camera and looked just like a snowman on a beautiful snowy winter's day. Oh, Olive, what a great idea. But what about all the popcorn? How are we going to serve it to the customers now? But the customers loved the idea of snowing popcorn and simply caught it in their popcorn buckets. They were all very excited as the film was about to start. The film is better than the real thing, whispered Mr Battenberg. And all down to Olive, the director. That really was a great film, said Olive. Although I had a pretty good idea of how it was going to end. <laughs> They both laughed. And as they did, right. Olive realised it was time to go. Oh, typical Olive daydreaming again, said her mum. Okay, actually, I've been a film director. Your head's been in the sand too long, dear, said Olive's dad. Her little brother laughed. <laughs> but Olive wasn't listening. She was already dreaming of her next big adventure. <laughs>